Last week, we installed the corrugated metal for the shower and planned for the bottle flower kitchen wall for the earth bag additions in the main house. I'm curious. All right. What did the girls bring us home? Ready? Yeah. Oh! That is just absolutely perfect, Shay. You like it, Gary? Oh, it's beautiful. It's gonna be great in here. We came across a black water tank a while back at a garage sale. Great find. 100 bucks. We have this old tank that's been up there for quite some time. Oh, yeah, it's probably it put probably in here in the 80s. So it's been rusting over the years, so why not you know, quit repairing it and use it for something else? We don't need one that large. Jeff's gonna dig us a big hole so we can drop it in the hole and, and begin to plumb it in. We decided as part of the kitchen, we would also set up a whole new rainwater system. We have one right now, it's very hodgepodge. We have rainwater catchment on one side of the house and another type on the other side of the house. Really, the rainwater catchment was just an experiment for us a few years back, mm -hmm. but it's really been a successful thing. And it's one of deep hole. Yeah, not yet. That's amazing. Yeah, how long would it take us to do this with shovels? <laughs> <laughs> I've dug many holes with shovels and I don't like it. That's why you have the tractor. Yeah. We just want to move to the next level. So this is going to be the tank for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So It's a 3,000 gallon tank. And I think currently we're storing somewhere around with maybe about 1,000 gallons max. And one storm could fill those up. Mm -hmm. And then the problem is, is two days later, we might be heading into another storm like that, which you don't know really if you're going to get it or not. I'm trying to use water up everywhere I can, and then the storm may or may not come. We miss out on a lot of water. Or the storm will overflow everything, and then we just have water falling on the ground, so it's kind of missed opportunity that way. Also. Disconnecting the big tank so that we can uh, have Jeff pull it off, and he's going to carry it over there for us and set it over there next to the hole. We'll work on the tank and get it ready to plumb to put in, and then later time we'll get the tank set in. You guys in there painting without me? Ooh, that's pretty. Got me a scorpion friend. Calling it Fred the scorpion. Kind of wondering if it will move. Okay. Oh no, no, it's oh. on the move. He's cruising. Uh -oh. oh, he went right into the bank. Right. Okay, ready? I'm gonna try to get him with my foot. I hope I don't miss because oh, it could be a pain. I'm fall. right on my paint. Okay. Should I or not? Yeah, now you start it. Do the high step. Oh. Got him! Now, sorry about the spot. To commemorate Fred, we're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this color, guys. Ah, I think it's gonna suit this bathroom real well. Cute. It's just cheery, isn't it? It really is a really mm. cheery color. We have completed layer number one. We're about to go back through and do layer number two. We are. <laughs> it is looking superb. The youngest is the boss, that's the rule. You got glasses now. So you get to be bossy and when you I have say glasses. Actually, no, I, I have to go work, honestly. But remember that whole the youngest is the boss thing? We talked this out of uh, working. We should wait till it's to dry thoroughly before we do a second coat. Which is kind of logical. Thank what you. do you think, Shay? I'm glad That's someone notices all. my logical brain. So we're going to let this paint dry instead of sitting and watching paint dry because we've all heard tales of that. Nice. Oh, I'm going to like this. Look how cheery that looks. Well, it just it helps to finish it off. Get our cabinets put in here, our toilet, shower, and a sink area over there. This is going to be nice. Okay, we're ready when that... Yeah, that was just fucked that right off. <laughs> well, I've been on there probably 30 years. Throw a different bucket under the head. I'm on a shirt on one end. How about you tall guys come over here? Oh. Is that what the problem is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's about 10 swings and then my tongue's hanging out. <laughs> Had 
a great idea of using the ratchet strap and the bucket end to move that tank. Cause like honestly I was like, how are we gonna move such a large tank like that without some crane, you know what I mean? But he thought of a really brilliant way to move that. It's awesome. Worked really well too. Tilt strap broke, but that was the strap's fault, not, not the idea's fault, so. I used the bucket end of the tractor and we backed up, lowered it, and moved it. How much do you want for it? You work today? I oh, just call it a couple hours. A couple hours, okay, yeah. at yeah. how much? 75 an hour. Okay. And then I got Bud Light, was that, that okay? Because okay? I didn't know what kind. Oh yeah, that's fine. But like, yeah. You don't have to get me now. Oh no, that's oh, yeah. the fun part. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Some bucks and Bud Light, so. That's all he needs. <laughs> He's an awesome neighbor. Well, my friend, I appreciate you. Yeah, that was yeah. awesome. Yeah, it is. I don't so, think we could yeah. ever move that on our own. <laughs> Just don't yeah. Gary swimming it while you got pumping. <laughs> <laughs> He's special. He, he needs to get his aggression out. He's catching it too. Because Diesel's jogging. Uh -huh. The good thing too about um, Jeff digging that hole is now we're going to have dirt that we can use, of course, to finish up the building. So. And other little projects because we'll have a lot left over. So. Yeah, and you know that the floor on the kitchen too is going to need a lot of dirt. So even mm -hmm. though we're almost to the top, and it's funny, we're still going to have to haul dirt, but the difference between digging dirt and just placing it in the wheelbarrow is the, quite a bit of difference. So. <laughs> and that section that we dug up uh, was very, very, very sandy. So we, we went ahead and actually added a little bit of clay to this soil to make it so that it will harden. Yeah. So you can normally smash it, right? And then when it when it sets up like that, like kind of acts like a dirt clod, then you know it will work. That's a small tank. Let's get it up there. I have it. when we built Shay's building. We framed in a tire and then built over and then pulled that out and then that made the frame for the window. So we're gonna do the same thing here so we can frame in where we want that bottle of flour to go. Well, Shay and I are gonna walk over to the hoop barn and see if we can find a tire that will be, it has to be about 22 inches wide. It's about as wide as that flower needs to be. So we'll go see, let's walk over there and see if we can find something. What can we find in our tire pile? Ooh, look at that one down there. That one looks good. Oh yeah, that's gonna be, yeah, that's 24 inches. That'll be just perfect. Here. That'll be perfect. I'll put it right there and we'll jam the other one in on the other side. Yeah, that'll work good. Fun little banter you guys have. When they get a little warm, they're not near as funny. <laughs> Could it be that oven hot heat here in the Southwest? Yeah. So it's the last time mustache is coming off today. Oh, oh okay. What? Hey, look, Bryson. It's a package. No way, Bree. Should we open it? Yeah. <laughs> you got mail. This is like Christmas morning it's for building. Oh, okay. What is it? What have we hit off? So wait, we're, oh, these are going on our shower, aren't they? Mm -hmm. For our little, the little windows. Don't you wonder how they make these curved uh, glass? Speaking of wondering, 
I don't know if you've wondered about where Garen has been, but he's been at a wedding, not his own wedding, but a wedding in general for the past week. He just got back and we're excited to have you here. Thank you so much for being a part of our family. We hope to see you next week. If you'd like to catch us before then, the four of us kids and a couple of friends stream five nights a week on our Twitch channel. You can find the link to it down in the description below. You can also find us on the website as well if you're curious about that on mylittlehomestead.com. Thank you so much for being here. Bye. All right, think you know what I'm thinking? What? Fish tank. <laughs> Fish tank? <laughs>